A South Island small business owner is speaking out tonight about the HST. His stance on it may surprise you. He says the tax could be a good thing. And that's music to the Liberal government's ears. A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has more. Known for fresh coffee, fish and chips and sweet strawberry pie, the owners of the Princess Mary restaurant are serving up something else the Campbell government is hungry for. Support for the unpopular HST. You can look at it in a negative light or a positive light. We look at it in a positive light. These days, restaurants, coffee shops and small businesses have been settings for irate voters to sign the anti-HST petition. But at the Princess Mary, it's not a signature form, but an information sheet that slipped into the menu. First, the current BC liquor tax will be eliminated when the HST takes effect. Bill Lang wasn't impressed with the way the harmonized sales tax was rolled out last summer, but he says once he did his own research and talked to his accountants, the tax didn't seem that bad to him. The, the liquor is going down 3%, the food is going up 7%, and that our accounting will be a lot less because we're only doing one HST payment a month. And that is the kind of message Premier Gordon Campbell and his finance minister, Colin Hansen, have been waiting to hear. Every day their government is taking a beating over a tax they admit was suddenly sprung on voters and poorly explained. Oh, I think we have a lot of work to do, which we will start doing as soon as the uh, HST the initiative uh, timing frame is up. Lang acknowledges the changes won't be easy on his customers, so he's going to take the hit on increased food prices while passing on liquor sale savings. He hopes to make up the difference by working with suppliers who will also drop their prices. Long term, possibly, I, I, my, my, my thought might be it's, uh, it's a good thing for long term down, down the road. One small business owner who doesn't despise the HST, one major boost to the BC Liberals. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.